So, talk to me about your tattoo. Um, I'm getting a tattoo. It's like a memorial piece for my grandma. So it'll have her initials above it, and then this pair of glasses, and then the year she was born and the year she died below that. Okay, so now yeah. What made you want to get this? Um, I had a really close bond with my grandma. She was like my best friend. So I just wanted something for her. She talked about it for a long time, wanting to do something to immortalize my mom. Um, she passed away in June of 2016. And she found a guy that uh, she trusted. She did a little bit of research on, on where to go, and we found the guy. And the, the, just watching him freehand draw what she wanted on her, on her wrist was, was pretty awesome. I expected him to, do a, to trace it using a, a transfer or whatever they call that, but he didn't. He just freehanded it. And considering that uh, part of it was um, my mom's handwriting, that was pretty amazing because he nailed it. It was exactly, it was her writing. It looks like her writing. Pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. It was her initials, um, LGD, and it was um, her birth year and final year date and a pair of glasses because she was known for her, her stylish glasses. Not supposed to break down Connor. Jerk. Anyway, I'll keep trying. Okay, so it didn't get emotional really at the tattoo parlor until uh, we talked to the tattoo guy. How did it go? Was she a, was she a good patient? Yeah, man, she was a trooper. Uh, she did good, her first tattoo. I know it's a lot of emotion behind it, but she did great. So I got emotional when he talked about his job and how he how he talked about how he loved immortalizing things like that for people and how it was good for memories for those people and for him. Uh, it's, a, it's a complete honor. Uh, tattooing is a, it's an emotional experience for a lot of people, whether it be a passing of a loved one or a dedication for something or closure for an emotional situation. Uh, and like as an artist, like I'm honored to always be a part of that. Like we get a, a end with someone's like trauma that way, or help them remember something in that form. And just to be, just to be a part of that is a, is an honor. And I, that, that's a reason I love my job. You know, uh, there's all a bunch of different experiences that we do on a daily basis that help me grow in one way or the other. And with her situation, it, for me, it's a, it's a huge, huge deal to get that kind of trust from somebody, you know, to put something that they love so much in the hands of someone like me and expecting me to do a good job for them. It's a lot of pressure, but it, it's worth it. You know, it's fun. And as we were walking out, we, I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to pay the guy. And so I walked back in there and go, oh, dude, I owe you money. He's like, can you, can you tell me what just happened? No, without crying. Well, what just, what just <laughs> happened? <laughs> um, 
the artist was nice enough to not charge us with a tattoo. He just basically, he said that, that no, we didn't owe him any money because it was just an honor. It's pretty crazy. It wasn't like it was an expensive tattoo. It was a pretty simple one. And it was just a thought. Can't smell. Well, I don't know how many you feel, but it's really touching. You want to cry. If you feel like you're going to cry? you want to jump in the arms of a big, burly, tattooed man. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Connor, that's enough of this. Oh yeah, uh, we're right here at See You Look and Eat, Chandler, 594 North Arizona Avenue. Come and check us out, man. We'll take care of all your needs. Thank you.